Welcome everyone to the Low Fi Poly Side Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right, low fives and low fidelity, low quality in your face, messy as can be global news show. And it's good news Friday, people. But we're in a rush because everybody's got things to do and places to be. But we all need that daily dose of goodness. So here we go. Got some coming for you, all fast paced lag. Let's start off with some animal news. Oh, yeah. And let me start off by asking you, have you ever heard of a four-legged whale? Well, no one has, at least not for about 43 million years or so. And does it seem odd? Well, think about it. It should not, because whales are indeed mammals. So wouldn't it make sense that they would have walked to the sea from land at first? For now, some fossils have been found in Egypt, and exciting stuff here. I love stuff like this. Just love it. Four-legged whales. This is so cool. We'll let you know more as we hear it, people. And people of Connecticut, USA, and surrounding areas, be on the lookout and on guard for bears stealing your packages from your porch. Oh, yes, we're serious here. As the owner of a package actually has the entire ordeal on film. Check it out. You can find the video. And hey, watch out for those bears. And the latest update to the ongoing battle that we've been talking about for well over a year. Washington State versus the giant hornet, a.k.a. murder hornets, that go after our lovely little bee friends. Oh, that's right. The Washington Department of Agriculture announced that they've located and taken out the first nest of the season, which in all honesty, I did not know giant hornets had a season, but now we all know. And it's amazing how this battle has been waged, going back and forth, giant hornets against the bees, humans choosing the side of the bees and waging wars on the hornets. I mean, but shouldn't we stop to think? Did we make the right choice? I mean, write in and let me know. Are you a hornets person or a bee person? I'm always curious your thoughts. And now, time for all of our newest favorite segment, Talkin' Jiminy. That's right, Jiminy as in Jiminy Cricket, as in Cricket, as in the sport, Cricket as in Lo-Fi Sports Talk, a.k.a. translation needed, I don't speak sports. For this game, it's simple. I'll read the latest in global cricket headlines, and you tell me what they mean. And today we're going all in for all the lo-fi loot of the week. Oh, yeah. And you know why we're doing this? Oh, yes, you do. Because if I have to listen to American football sports, people have to listen to cricket. However much you made this week, though, in lo-fi loot, you can double it right now. So there's a lot on the line if you get both of these next headlines correct. All right, headline number one from the BBC Sports slash Cricket section. David Bettingham. Durham Batsman signs contract to run until 2025. Interesting. This individual, a batsman, whatever this means, signing something to run a marathon for four years straight. I have no idea, people. You tell me. And our second headline, from the Reuters cricket section, because, yes, more than one media outlet cover cricket. The headline, Anderson wreaks havoc. India reeling on 56-4, at Headingley. I'll read it one more time. Anderson wreaks havoc. India reeling on 56-4 at Headling. What does it mean indeed? And there you go ahead. Write in. Put it down below because I need some translation. I don't speak sports. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back to the good news indeed and talk about NPR's shortwave three-minute little podcast they got going on about fire tornadoes, and spinning funnels of flames. I don't know what this means either, really. I didn't even know this existed in real life. This is something that I would never, ever, ever want to see. I mean, imagine it. There it is, a tornado, which is scary enough by itself, you know? But then, a tornado spinning fire? Oh, to hell with that. That's when I say I'm out of here. So if you're interested in finding out more, though, about a little fiery tornado, check out the article or the little short wave. Listen, three minutes is really quick. And good news coming from Mars and China. Weird to say those two things together, but I like it all the same. The Chinese-made Mars rover has completed its initial mission of 90 days of Mars exploration, and it's keeping on kicking strong. Yes, indeed. So 
What are they going to do? They're going to keep their little robot going and explore more of the red planet, looking for signs of water and life. And I love these kinds of things. Before this, the U.S. was the only country that had on the surface of Mars pictures and exploration. You know, and the more people who get out there, the more we'll learn. And I love it. And did you know that Mars has a day that is 40 minutes longer than the Earth's? Now you know. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the day, for the weekend. To Florida we go. And no, it's not some weird story about what some crazy person did. No, 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 no. Leave Florida alone today. Because in fact, some real goodness took place there. An individual was eating dinner with their family at a diner in Florida, enjoying their dinner, enjoying the employee's company. They went to leave and tipped $10,000 to spread amongst 10 employees, giving each one of the employees $1,000 each. My friends, there are still good people on this earth. There are still good deeds being done. And that is what Good News Friday is all about. That all week, every week, we're in the trenches of what's going on in the world today. We're in the thick of the horrible things that people do to each other. But one day a week, every Friday, we come together to celebrate the we that we be and to show everyone that there's still a lot of goodness to be had. And this weekend, my friends, today even, do your own good deed out there in life. You don't have to give someone a thousand dollars just to make their day. Sometimes all you need to do is smile and say hello to really make someone feel special. So get out there and do a good deed today and do your part to make the world a better place on this Good News Friday. And that's it. I'm done. I'm spent. I'm out for the weekend. But you know how to find me. And do you have top 10 list ideas? Send them on in. And send in your good deeds to share with everyone. We want to hear what you do. Always remember that Lo-Fi Poli Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Peace and well-being to all my human beings out there. Much love and always the best. Pickering, signing off. <laughs>